Hello, my name is Margaret Adele and I have a box. When I first got this box, I had to sign for it and I saw that it was from Australia and I wasn't actually thinking a lot about it because one of the Christmas presents I ordered off Etsy for a family member was from Australia. But then I picked it up and I'm like, this is really heavy for the present I ordered. So I looked and I'm not going to show you obviously anyone's address, but I looked on here and I was like, <sighs> It's from an indie author. And like I mentioned before, I don't trust indie authors anymore. I cannot open any package from them that is not on camera because likely there will be something cool and fun to open. And um, I'm really hoping that at least one of these items is her new book because I want it so badly. <laughs> so let's jump right in and see what do we have in <laughs> box. Ooh, okay, we're fancy. Nice little card. This is very nicely packaged. A nice little card with my name on it. Oh. Okay, seriously, where are indie authors getting these? I have had so many indie authors send me things with an actual wax seal on it. Where? <laughs> is there like some Etsy store? I'm, it says hello friend and it's her name, Andy Barr, and I don't want to ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, one second. All right, uh, not the best job, but a pair of scissors means the wax seal is at least still intact. And ooh, is this actual parchment? Ooh. <gasps> oh, this is like Christmas, it's awesome. Every time I get one of these packages, it's like Christmas all over, I love it so much. Okay, <laughs> so we have, ooh, bookmarks from both Paper Flowers, the first in the series, and Silk Sheets the next one coming out and as usual um i love that indie authors are learning that you have to send margaret multiple bookmarks because she loses them summer kiska found that out the hard way so we also have woo cute <laughs> apparently i think these are like stickers related to the story because it says like some genius billionaire lawyers fall for redhead corporate hackers get over it and this one says 50 percent computer genius 25 percent mediocre spy 25 percent <laughs> disaster gay 100 percent adorable i think okay so the billionaire is definitely the character that you read about in the first book and then the hacker must be the man he falls in love with this is one of the few mlm stories written by a woman that i will read mostly because she is queer and has uh gay male or queer male uh, beta readers and that's why I trust him more and oh another wax seal oh my gosh <laughs> this is so pretty uh so let's see as promised both an arc of silk sheets and a paper bag of paper flowers yes it's a year late but I hope it still brings you joy to hold Max and Jake's story in your hand it will I will be rereading it because sad story I actually switched to a new e-reader and like yeah technically I could probably still find the email and re-download it but like it's not going to be the same thing I read it on the first time um and it says thank you for everything you do for the indie community and I hope to keep sending you arcs of my works for time to come you're going to because you told me you were writing that super queer space opera with both an MLM and a WLW couple so now you have to keep sending me those works you, you can't tell me about that stuff and not send me that it's, it's against the rules and then it also says, and I'm looking forward to one day reading this poly space opera you're working on. Me too, except the uh, laptop that it's on is currently <laughs> broken and I had to go get it fixed. Hopefully I'll get that taken care of. I really, really, really want to get back to working on that. And then, ooh, oh, she, she has magnets for her book. What? <laughs> I've never gotten magnets before. That's the first time I've gotten that kind of swag from an author. That's why I got to film these kind of things. Look at this. Okay. Oh, I'm about to make this floor so messy. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what is what is what is this thing? What is this thing here? This is Ooh. Tea. <laughs> ah! It's loose leaf tea for Augustus. Oh my gosh. Christmas came early for me. <laughs> I'm so happy right now, you guys. Oh my gosh. Hand blended a literary chi from bookish comforts of the character of Augustus. And that is the uh, protagonist that was 
Um, originally the side character brother that was still in the closet in the first one. And now I'm going to be one of our protagonists in this one. Oh my gosh, I have teeth. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. All right, what is this? Oh! A candle. Max. So that is the character from the family, um, the big family that's the series is focused on from the first one. And I loved that one. And I don't want to ruin the box when I open this. Oh my gosh. Ah. Okay. So it says the scent is caramel, cinnamon, coffee, and fruit. Mm. It's got a cute little white. I, am I a beauty guru now? <laughs> All right. Ah! It's sparkly and red on the Oh my, Andy, you are spoiling me. That smells good too. Okay, which is great because I've been like burning through candles a lot to de-stress lately. And so another candle is, is not going to go over. Oh, please tell me this is more tea. Oh my gosh, please tell me this is more tea. Yes, 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 yes. It's from Jake too. That was one of the characters from the first book. Oh, the favorite chaos bisexual. Or is he more of a disaster bisexual? I feel like more of a disaster bisexual. That one. So this is black rose tea. I'm about to get everything everywhere. Mmm. I'm going to have to try some new teas tonight. Not that I don't have enough loose leaf tea. I actually have a ton because I buy a lot. And then I'll go a while without drinking it. And then I drink it a ton. And then I go a while without drinking it again. But oh my gosh. This is so nice. <laughs> I'm so glad I filmed this. And then, of course, we have another candle. This one says Jamie. So I'm going to assume that is our new character from the new book that our delightful, our delightful disaster gay hacker. And it's bright and green on the inside. Ooh, fruity. <laughs> He's gay and the candle's fruity. <laughs> Forget about it. All right. <laughs> All right. Ooh, okay. Is that all the extra stuff? Are we finally on to the books? Ah. Okay. Ooh, this is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Well, no, it was a pretty thick book. All right. So this is Paper Flowers. So this is the first in the series, the one that I reviewed uh, forever ago, I think well over a year now. I will have the link down in the description, of course. And this is pretty long, if I remember it. I think this is like, yeah, like 450 pages, which is fairly long for an indie romance. Most indie romances barely break 300 half the time. Um, but I love me a slow burn. And they are such slow burns. All right, so... Ah, don't ruin the floor. Okay. <laughs> and this. The piece. De resistance. Silk Sheets. A fragile love novel. The sequel to Paper Flowers by Andy Barr. And... It's got the ARC sticker on it. I don't know if this is an ARC in that it is an uncorrected proof or if that is an ARC in that it is the same that people would have already gotten but sent out early because with indie books, it can kind of be either. So let us read the synopsis. Augustus Christensen is well known as the second oldest Christian sibling. That's the family that Max is from in the first book. Senior partner at CBA and chairman and CTO of tech giant Legionnaire. He's America's most eligible bachelor. There's a reason for that and a secret he has kept to himself his entire life. He's gay. With the Esposito murder trial out of the way, all Augustus wants to do is unwind at the one place he can be himself. He isn't expecting the sweet-faced boy who captivates him in the club to capture his heart as well. Jamie Flynn watched a mob hitman murder his brother in cold blood. Jamie wants revenge not only on the people who had his brother killed, but on the lawyer who helps them walk free. He will do whatever it takes to expose them to the world for what they are. Except when he finally comes face to face with the heartless attorney he watched in the courtroom, he starts to wonder if heartless is really the right word. Augustus is just lonely and sad. Suddenly, it's, it isn't only vengeance on the line. Jamie's heart seems to be up for grabs. Is there any way he can walk from this all unscathed? Ooh. <laughs> okay, I am so happy <laughs> right now. I was just expecting to get the books. I wasn't expecting candles and tea and freaking wax seals. Where are the wax seals coming from? <laughs> this is like fourth or fifth indie author I've gone who has sent me wax seals. I, I need to know. But in general, thank you so much, Andy. This is so sweet. I am so looking forward to this and I am so happy that I have the first one in my hands now. I'm going to reread parts of it tonight. Like, not the whole thing, because again, 450 pages, and I got in December to get reading on. But like, 
Okay, so thank you so much for watching me be a happy kid for eight minutes. <laughs> um, just again, if you are an indie author, you don't have to send me this level of things. I don't expect them. The majority of the time, if I get a review copy from an indie author, a PDF in my inbox is fine. But I just love these so much. This is so sweet. This is so nice. And um, also FYI, uh, <laughs> please, maybe if you're going to give me all this stuff, and again, you don't have to, but if you are, um, give me a heads up because I've discovered that unboxing videos are actually kind of fun and I would love to do more of them. Um, but with nothing else to say, <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day and a marvelous tomorrow.